Hi, I'm Nick Kirkpatrick from the Newport News Bitcoin Mob. You can find us at HamptonRoadsBitcoin.org. Uh, the goal of this campaign is to develop public interest in Bitcoin and uh, just to, to get enough pressure to establish uh, Bitcoin accepting businesses in Newport News, Virginia. Um, it's our goal to get businesses in Newport News to start accepting Bitcoin and then to spend our Bitcoin there. So what I'm going to do right now is show you how you can set up a Bitcoin at your point of sale. How you can start accepting Bitcoin for goods and services right now. Now Bitcoin is a currency that's a little over five years old. So it's, you know, it's, it's young and um, it's uh, not uh, attached, it's not inundated by the previously established financial um, apparatus, by the, the big financial institutions. It's, it's new. It was developed completely independent from all of that old stuff. So the transaction fees for Bitcoin are, are lower. And you know you can read about transaction fees for Bitcoin. There's tons and tons of, of content out there about uh, how how that exactly works. But the transaction fees are are much lower because Bitcoin is independent from the previously existing financial apparatus. Another great thing about Bitcoin is that you don't have to worry about chargebacks. And with lower transaction fees and not having to worry about chargebacks. I mean, <laughs> why not? So uh, how, how exactly do you go about uh, doing this? You know, with, um, when you're accepting dollars at your point of sale, um, you know, there are a lot of different pieces of technology you can use. And, you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin's really no different. There are, there are different ways to go about it. But, what I'm going to show you right now, with Bitcoin, how do you start accepting Bitcoin real fast and real easy? One thing. So, uh, here it is, right behind me. Uh, this is a QR code. And this is, uh, well, the, <laughs> the, the, the printer quality here uh, is, uh, is a little, little lacking. But, but uh, it's, it's a little magenta. But a, Q, a QR code, you've seen them before. They're, you know, these, these squares. They're, you know, black squares, white squares. And it's just forms into one big square. And, um, you know, technically you don't even need a QR code to accept Bitcoin. But, uh, but, this, make, but this, this makes it a lot easier. And... Um, how do you create a QR code? You know, you can. There are different ways to go about doing that. Um, on your Bitcoin wallet, you can go. Bitstamp has it. BTCE has it. Uh, you can go Blockchain.info, Electrum, Bitcoin QT. There, there are different ways to uh, to go about generating a Bitcoin QR code. But you know, you've got it. Bitcoin QR code, and you just print it out. I mean, it's it's that simple. And then you you are ready to start taking Bitcoin. So let's say that I'm, I'm walking through the store and, uh, you know, I see some, uh, some delicious carrots that I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to buy here. Delicious carrots. So you, you are selling these delicious carrots. And, um, and I would like to buy one. You can sell anything. QR code. And... Um, so I'll, I'll show you the device I'm, I'm going to use. Now, the, the public perception is that the uh, ideal phone to use um, for making a Bitcoin purchase uh, would be a Droid. Um, but I'm, I'm going to use my BlackBerry today. Uh, I mean, if you can scan a QR code uh, and you can connect to the Internet, then you can send Bitcoin. And, and again, you don't even really need a QR code. But, I mean, th th this is just how it works. It, it makes it easier. So, and the, the goal of, of this video is to promote Bitcoin. 
Um, you know, the, the goal of this, this whole uh, promote Bitcoin campaign I'm involved in here is not to be vendor specific. It is not the intent of this group to be vendor specific, but there may be times when uh, for the purpose of clarity we will have to make references to specific organizations or specific pieces of technology, um, you know, specific pieces of hardware, specific, specific pieces of software, and mentions of specific pieces of hardware and software or specific organizations do not constitute endorsement. I'm not getting paid by anyone. The only thing that I claim to be is pro-Bitcoin. We just want to get Bitcoin into the hands of the people. And we don't really care exactly how it happens. So anyway, so I've got my phone here. I've got a, a QR code scanner, so basically what I would do is, uh, you know, i just walk up to it and uh, put it in view. And there we go. I have the data from the QR code scanner. And uh, let's, let's uh, see what happens here. So now I've got the Bitcoin address. I'll go ahead and put it in. And uh, I've got my point of sale console set up so that you'll hear a beep as soon as the... Um, as soon as it receives the money. And uh, what, what is the amount? It is. We're sending just a teeny 0 0.005 Bitcoin. I'll go ahead and hit send. And I'll go ahead and do another transaction here so you can see what happens when, uh, when you hear that beep. So here's our console. And, oh, did you see that? Almost instant. Money got, uh, got sent there. Balance went, went right up there. So that last point of sale that I just showed you was just a uh, piece of paper with a, a QR code printed on it. So what I'm going to show you now, just to make this a little bit more exciting, I'll show you a way that you could have a uh, receive payments and instead of a piece of paper with a QR code printed, it's something that was uh, all digital format. So I've got a, a screen here and, uh, and just to um, make, it, make it a little bit more fun, I've got a hypothetical situation where there's a, a DJ involved and uh, you're allowing people to tip the DJ. And Bitcoin makes small payments uh, much more practical because of the lower transaction fee. So, got this thing with the QR code, um, and you know you can you can you know put your phone up to it and scan it just like you would if it were on paper. Um, and uh, but yeah, so I mean this is you know basically just a computer monitor, um, and this uh, this web page is uh, blockchain.info. Um, you can find information on any Bitcoin address. So if you just have your page associated with your Bitcoin address, and um, and I'll put a link to an example uh, of this up in the uh, video description. But if you if you uh, look at the information for your Bitcoin address, you can see the incoming transactions. So um, so here's you know here's the the amount. Um, and uh, and and right now it has uh, <clears throat> the the amount of Bitcoin it's showing as um, per the uh, conversion rate into U.S. dollars. This is just you know a convenient convenient tool, you know just in case you want to see that. But you can see that in bitcoins or or in dollars. And um, uh, anyway, so you can see the total received, uh, the final balance, just in case some um, Bitcoin were sent out of that uh, Bitcoin wallet, and. Um, and yeah, people can just walk walk up to it. They'll see, hey, tip the DJ. Walk up to it, put their um, their phone up to uh, the QR code and scan it, and they can uh, start sending Bitcoin to that address. And there's the uh, the address written in you know standard Bitcoin address form right there, uh, just in case anyone wants to use that. Um, yeah, and so I'll uh, I'll go ahead and give you a demonstration of uh, of what it looks like 
Um, oh, hey, there's the number of transactions, too. DJ got tipped 17 times. But anyway, I'll give you a demonstration of uh, what uh, uh, incoming transactions uh, might look like because, um, you know, the, the, way, the way this page works, um, you can see it on the monitor as transactions are being made. You will see them come through onto, onto this page as they're being made. And it really, really looks cool. So I'll show it to you. So the transactions are coming in, and you can see them in real time. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope it's shed a little bit of light on what exactly it means uh, to accept Bitcoin in a retail setting. I hope this has uh, cleared up some, some confusion for some people, uh, uh, given some people some ideas. I hope you've been entertained. I hope that you've been educated. If you um, have any questions about anything Bitcoin related, especially if you are a retailer or some kind of business owner, um, please feel free to uh, you know, send me an email. Feel free to uh, ask questions. Um, uh, the email address um, is in the description here. Um, again, our website is HamptonRoadsBitcoin.org. Um, you can also follow the Newport News Bitcoin Mob on Twitter at NNBitMob. Thank you for watching, and you have yourself a wonderful day.